Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo hey there, friends, family, and followers. Hike360 here. We are doing our second hike of the day at Pilcher Park, and that is in Joliet, Illinois. We've got 3.3 miles ahead of us uh, all through Pilcher Woods here and there's a lot of different trails that we could be following. Hopefully we don't get completely lost and uh, we stay on the outskirts of the whole thing because that's, that's our plan, but there's like eight different colored trails that you could do here. Uh, behind me is the Nature Center, which is closed due to COVID right now. Oh, we got light greens and dark greens. All right, so this is the first Nature Center is right behind us and the parking lot where we parked. So we haven't gone very far and we're lost already. So we got Pilcher statue at the end of the pond here to the left. If you have 360 capabilities, spin it around. Which way we're we gonna, that bridge is marked green. So let's go across the bridge. That's green and that's green though. That pole is green. Crazy. Well, the bridge is green. Well, so light green is not what we want to do. All right, so if you come down here for a hike, this may be the most valuable piece of information. Take this new green bridge to start. Or it's completely wrong. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe we'll figure that out before we, we finish. It could be the least valuable piece of information yeah. that you take away from today. I wanted to say during the intro that you said this is a 3.3 mile hike, yeah. but there's a very high probability we're going to be lost, so it'll probably be like a 5 mile hike. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, well, so we've literally walked for two minutes. We're lost. We're trailblazing already. We are following the, the riverbed to go up to that bridge up there. So that's at least a known marker. We got to the road. Oh, we're never gonna get through that. I'm gonna get up here. All right, so we're lost already. No idea. <laughs> All right, so we're now 10 minutes into the hike. We found, refound the path. We've got a trial marker. If the trails are like this, I mean, this is nicely paved. This is a actually a pretty nice, especially for bikes. We hope we're going the right direction, but we just started, so it doesn't really matter. It's a circle. Uh, I wanted to say that it's a beautiful day and the smell right now is really very inviting to me. I don't know what it is. So the last video I said, I hope we get to some really good positive stuff. To me, right now I'm feeling extremely positive. I really like what the smell and the feel, the temperature, a lot of things are clicking right now. Okay, so we got back on track and uh, both Dad and I are really enjoying uh, where we've gotten at Pilcher Park. Really nice, beautifully paved trail in between just a landscape of trees. Um, I didn't know what you were talking about earlier with the smell, but I do smell it now, and it's it's just nice and naturey and and good and calm. It smells like spring. Spring. Uh, the trails are really confusing. There's trails that lead just out of the park and uh, to the next road, I guess. So, and we seem to be at one of those points now. So we're on the purple second trail. Second time we've been at a point like yeah, this. Yes, we're on the purple trail. So I wanted to say something about trail marking. If anybody's watching that is in charge of trail marking, what the, seems to be going on here is at trail junctions, they have color markings, which is nice to let you know that you're on a trail, but the problem is they don't give you, there's no information as to where to go. So the junction, of course, is a choice. If you're gonna mark a trail, you mark it down trail, but within eyesight. So each choice is clearly marked as to what choice you're making. Here yeah. we have a choice. 
Normally we're doing an outside loop. We're going clockwise, so we want to stay to the left. But we feel that this way where we just saw another hiker go is it probably like going to be like the last left, which was going to take us out of the park. Yeah, it, it looks like that is a pathway out of the park. And going right is a safe route, so we're going to go that route because if it's wrong, then what we've done is not done the outside loop. We've done, we've turned inward. So at least we're going to be going toward the center of the clock. But it'd be nice to know. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a map or something. I don't know. Well, the the last junction was great. It had a map. Yep. And it had a, it had a trail post, but it didn't give us the choices. It gave us, okay, you're on one of three trails. Yeah. But we didn't know which direction they were going. That was a failure, pretty big failure, because the fourth route took you out of the park altogether. <laughs> this is a cool view. Hey, look at my shadow down there. Hey, we get to see a road getting put down. A road or something, I mean, they're cementing, yeah. I always like that. It seems so immediate gratifying. Immediate gratification. What, cementing? Yeah, or at least the cleanup part like that. Well, here is our photo sake. That's pretty nice. Why don't you go this way? Well, you're right. I wanted to take a, a distance shot, but with the 360, we can get a close up. Cactum. I see someone in there. Looks like we're gonna go in there. All right. All right. Cool. Keep doing the 360 video. Looks like you can get here from uh, main highway as well, or main road. Happy birthday coming up. That's a pretty neat idea. Uh, I'm at the three mile, mile mark. We're after the greenhouse. The greenhouse is closed to a private party. I don't know if it's ever open. But uh, the trail takes a turn for yesteryear. <laughs> so at the greenhouse, off to the side is a little post with two little colors on it, lavender and pink. And then those posts split off. So if you could find this trail, this trail is actually marked, uh, but it's hard to find the markings. And this is the trail. Hello friends, family and followers. It's Hike360 here and we just finished our second hike of the day at Pilcher Park. We did a loop, it ended up being 3.7 miles. And uh, we followed, we tried our best to follow the guide uh, from the book that we've been following but there's like eight different colored trails from blue to light blue to purple to lavender so it's pretty easy to get mixed up out here also the trail markers with the colors uh colored bands colored trails uh marking the trails small not in your face but more so at your foot uh so besides that really great hike uh just uh you're surrounded by trees the whole time and that makes it really fun uh, it smelled good it felt good i feel good now after doing it you look good thanks you look good too hey <laughs> keep working on my wink <laughs> it's not yeah that's i think two today right yeah right. anywho so we passed the uh the greenhouse uh it was closed in fact it seemed like there are a lot of cactuses in there and like a little waterfall so that would be cool to visit when it's open. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, didn't really find the, the well. Uh, maybe we saw something that was covered up, but it may or may not have been the well. So yeah, we finished the hike. We're outside the nature center again, and we'll see you again next week.